this video you're going to learn how to make stencil and paint your shirt to make this stencil i got this picture of leopard from google images take a wax paper and set on the image now with any pen or pencil trace all the dark spots of image like this this trick makes the task easier for those people who are not good in drawing so there's nothing to worry about this technique is for you trace the hollows of ears and this is almost done this nose area is not fully dark so i'm just starting this roughly you don't need to copy exactly just start it to have an idea so this is complete now next i'm using this paper cutter to make a cut on this part and then using the scissors to cut off this part you can use any cutting tool which you find easier and more comfortable for you first i'm cutting the lights parts i left these pupils attached from the top and now cutting out a d-shape from the middle so the eyes are done to cut the small spots first cut three sides of a spot with paper cutter then lift it up and snip off with scissors this cutting step may take more than two hours so don't get hasty and work with patience if you want you can finish it in two to three shapes all spots are cut now the nose done for this i am taking the sewing machine needle and roughly pierce this nose area you don't need to follow the dots exactly just stay in shape and this stencil is complete next get your t-shirt and lay wax paper under the t-shirt area we're going to work on once it's evenly set i'm using this paper clip to secure it secure the paper from all four sides like this this is done now now grab the stencil you made and set on the intended place also secure the stencil with paper clips so now this is done now take the fabric paint and a stippling sponge brush first shake the bottle well then open it up and dip the brush in paint like so hold the paper in place and stipple all over the image you need to be very careful make the strokes on 90 degree angle and make sure the paper is on place before stippling you can load the paint on brush as many times as you need but careful, don't let the paint drip or splash on rest of t-shirt. And before removing the stencil, must wash and dry your hands. Take off the clips and remove the stencil in one go. There you go. Now don't touch it until it's fully dry. You can remove the protective backing when it's fully dry. Then lay it on ironing board and cover it with a piece of clean cloth. Turn off the steam of iron and press for 2 minutes to fix the paint. Now it's ready. You can wear it on top of your dress and tuck the sleeves out to make them look like a trim. This is best for a cute and stylish look. Or else wear a dress shirt over it. And there you go. This makes you look cool and a little more sophisticated. I hope you enjoyed guys. Good luck.